Let's go to the next slide. Now, all that comes with a large reactor if the country in question takes it on to do reprocessing and enrichment. Not all are allowed, not all do, but all of that is allowed under the Nuclear Nonproliferation Treaty. It is considered to be legitimate activity. So, you know, that's the reason large reactors raise, you know, some big questions. That's the reason we're concerned about Saudi Arabia even getting power reactors, because we worry they might have a covert enrichment program with it. Um, right. Also, I, I might add that uh, having studied uh, both at classified and unclassified levels, uh, how Iran acquired what it has acquired for its bomb program. They use Bushir, which is a large power reactor, as a false uh, venue uh, cutout to buy various things unrelated to the reactor that were very helpful for making bombs. Uh, so we found out about this after it had occurred, not in time to prevent it. And I think that pattern of intelligence is most likely. So if you have a large peaceful program, it can serve as a cover, uh, acquisition cover in a way that's all too effective. Okay, now let's take a look at small reactors now. Uh, they present a much rosier picture. Instead of costing 14 plus each, uh, you can, you know, they hope, they claim they can make one of these for one to three billion or one to four billion. Uh, the, the one billion, uh, is the claim of some of the most, uh, enthusiastic small modular reactor vendors. Four billion is what the uh, Natrium Wyoming, uh, Bill Gates, uh, fast, uh, reactor, uh, might cost. My guess is it. If it ever gets finalized, it'll cost more, but let's take them at face value, 4 billion. That at least is not 14 billion. Now, I explained that that could be very important because lots of regional development banks have bans on really big projects. And if you come in asking for 14 or more billion or 20 billion or whatever, uh, you know, they're gonna turn white. But if you come in and ask, well, we need 1 billion, they might just say yes. All right, so that's a pretty attractive aspect of the small reactor. Um, also, it's easier to put these things on the grid because they, they're, they're not as big. Uh, and, you know, they can't be sited near the, the customers. And uh, another application that you don't currently use reactors for, you could probably use them for district heat or commercial heating. Uh, they don't need to be refueled in some cases as frequently and that makes them easier to safeguard. They're not as big, uh, you know, they don't admit, they don't admit carbon, you know, which is a big selling point right now. So the economic case, and you know, that would qualify them for all sorts of additional subsidies because they're clean energy. And, and so, you know, you know, all of these things are attractive to a prospective, uh, you know, investor, I guess. 